Dark times, my friends, dark times. As expected, fans greeted the first trailer for Leslie Headland's manifesto, The Acolyte, with a mixture of bewilderment and aversion. It neither looked nor sounded like Star Wars. I waited a week to collect my thoughts. My perspective is coming up. Welcome to Galactic Initiative. I'm your host, Jeff. An overdue trailer for The Acolyte, a series whose focus is overrepresentation, collided with the Star Wars fanbase, an audience whose focus is narrative. The difference in priorities generated a thumbs down frenzy. Enough preaching to the choir, you say. What's wrong with the trailer? Plenty. First, its aesthetic is entirely wrong. In live action, the Star Wars galaxy has unique concepts and functionalities that few people can replicate. Tony Gilroy and John Favreau come to mind. After watching the trailer, I confidently assert Leslie Headland hasn't captured Star Wars. Her settings appear to be Hollywood sound stages instead of dirty backwater villages. The images were overly filtered, an amateurish mistake more and more common in Lucasfilm productions. Exposure was decreased. Earth tones were accentuated. Natural light wasn't exploited or it was a victim of altered contrast. Several scenes were shrouded in darkness. Rookies play with settings. Experts create environments. The universal impression is melancholy, the antithesis of Star Wars' clarity and realism. Also, fast cuts, decentered framing, and extreme close-ups denote an unfamiliar galaxy. Lucas never employed these techniques. Second, the Matrix-style action is ridiculous. The impracticality of hand-to-hand -hand combat against force powers should be obvious, yet the Acolyte combines the two. Good luck getting close to a force user who can push and pull you and target you with objects including a lightsaber, unless you can use the force and or carry a lightsaber too. Last year, for the Acolyte, I read about a Jedi Master and a Sith Assassin with nary a lightsaber between them. How convenient for the series Wire Foo. Perhaps circumstances will explain disarmament. However, I suspect Leslie Headland doesn't understand the lightsaber as more than a trapping of the Jedi Order. Has she studied feudal Japan and medieval Europe to learn about samurai and knights, Lucas's inspiration for the Jedi Knights and their iconic weapons? Is she aware of Kenjutsu, the Japanese martial art of swordsmanship and the basis of all Star Wars duels? Third, the trailer reveals retcons of the prequels. Many will deny the obvious with wait and see arguments. No, the Acolyte is to the prequels as Kenobi is to the OT. At last we will reveal ourselves to the Jedi. At last we will have revenge. Established lore is inconvenient, so it is broken. I'm certain the Jedi Order, like the New Republic, will be depicted as incompetent. Search your feelings, you know it to be true. If they cared about the OT as much as they care about the message, Lucasfilm executives would have protected the classic stories and billion-dollar profits from toys and other merchandise. Well, thanks to the rise of social media, their apparent disregard for the prequels will cause additional public backlash. In other words, on every available platform, the prequel generations will absolutely destroy the Acolyte for retconning their childhood trilogy. The trailer's like-to-dislike ratio is a clue. I anticipate the following attack from at least one Disney file. Hater, you don't know. To it, I shall reply. Experience is the teacher of all things. Did I foresee Kenobi? Did I foresee Ahsoka? Will the sun rise tomorrow? Should I drink spoiled milk for confirmation or toss every milk carton with an unpleasant smell? After a decade of mismanagement, most Star Wars productions have developed a peculiar odor. Yes, yes. Thank you for watching. What were your impressions of the Acolyte's first trailer? Leave a comment. Please like and subscribe. Consider a super thanks. Check out Galactic Initiative for honest takes on Star Wars. Galactic Initiative is not authorized or endorsed by Lucasfilm Limited. The name Star Wars and all related materials are registered trademarks of Lucasfilm Limited, a subsidiary of the Walt Disney Company, Fox Lights Reserve. Galactic Initiative is a registered trademark and other product and company names are trademarks of their respective holdings. Use does not imply affiliation or endorsement.